dear diary greetings i just want to record a uh, back of the envelope calculation that i did for some of my friends a while back so let's just see how it goes so till august the 15th 1971 gold was priced at us dollars 35 per troy ounce now why am i taking this date august the 15th just hold on for a while also this may not exactly be the price on london metals exchange but this was the price at which the us government as per the britain woods agreement was uh, accepting us dollars and giving gold to foreign governments when they asked for it well the us dollar indian rupee conversion in 1971 was 7 rupees 50 naya paise per us dollar this was after the devaluation that was done interestingly on 6666 6th of june 1966 uh, when indian rupee uh, was devalued from 4.76 per dollar to 7.5 per dollar anyway so on or post august 15th 1971 uh, soon after august 15th let's say uh, gold was theoretically at 84 rupees 41 naya paisa per tola that is 10 grams at london metals exchange not at bombay of course because uh, at that point gold import into india was banned and uh, of course that meant that uh, all the gold that did come came through smugglers and you know India was uh, or Mumbai was gold smugglers heaven at that point in time so uh, there was a huge spread between London and Bombay prices the actual prices in Bombay at that time were somewhere between 185 and 200 uh, let's say 193 per tola for calculation sake so spread was actually about 100 uh, percent well on the last um, I mean the previous Independence Day uh, from today that was August 15 2011 that's exactly 40 years later gold price was Indian rupees 25,668 per tola 10 grams that is so gold has increased by a whopping 13,400 percent Wow in other words rupee has dropped to point zero zero seven five of its value 40 years back and this has happened despite that humongous spread disappearing so that's where the purchasing power of rupee has gone that's where the purchasing power of most of paper currencies have gone but i'm interested in the rupee so i'm talking about that now why am i talking about gold why am i comparing the gold price that's because gold is the hard money gold and sil silver are considered the hard money metals or monetary metals they used to be um, I consider silver and gold as money from <coughs> August 15th 1971 which is when Nixon the US president then closed the gold window that is he reneged upon the Bretton Woods promise that all currencies were supposed to be hooked to the US dollar and US dollar was hooked to gold and US had promised that every time somebody needed gold US would supply gold against the US dollars given to gold okay 
Now that is how US really US dollar really became the reserve currency of the world. That solution was adopted because after World War II, um, most of the countries, most of the Western countries, did not have a lot of gold, and all of it was already pledged or given or sold to the US, and therefore US had a lot of gold. So that's how this was this was worked out. But over a period of time. Uh, those countries uh, which amassed a lot of dollars, especially France, came back to US and kept taking the gold back in return of the papers uh, printed by the Federal Reserve. Now, uh, somewhere around that time, US realized that they don't have a lot of gold with them because in the time-honored tradition of all printers of uh, paper money they had overprinted the dollars they had printed more dollars than they could actually support at the price of US dollars 35 per troy ounce which they had promised for those who don't know troy ounce is approximately 31 grams so on August 15th 1971 Mr. Nixon closed the gold window and from that point on the world's currencies all really became fully floating and just like anything fully floating they really had no roots no roots into any reality so they kept floating anywhere wherever you know the tide took them so you see that's how the Indian rupee against hard money that is gold has fallen to 0 0.0075 of the value that it had of the purchasing power that it had just merely 40 years back you know I could clean my behind then so it's not really that long ago well so that's it I conclude with the quote from Frederick Frederick Bastia, a famed economist, he said, Frankly, dear public, you're being robbed. And he continued, This may be put crudely, but at least it is clear. Yep, it is clear. Goodbye, dear diary. <laughs>